welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to automatically change between dark and light mode wallpapers on iphones now before we get started with this video i just like to point out i do have lots of tutorials like this on my channel so if you guys like to customize your iphone in certain ways with ios 14 or your ipads be sure to check out the other videos i have on my channel and subscribe if you like this content as i have lots of videos like this and we'll continue to make them well into the future as well as like this video if this video does help you out now let's get right into this video now the first thing that you guys want to do is you guys want to head over to your settings and open that up and you just want to head over to shortcuts on the main screen of your settings click on shortcuts and just make sure that you have the allow untrusted shortcuts enabled if you have that enabled then we're good at this point we can then move on to finding the photos that we want to use for our dark mode and the photos we want to use for our light mode so if you guys already have those photos in your photo albums you're good to go i'm just going to link these ones here in the description as well uh, these are just the stock ios 14 and ones there's two light ones and i believe three darker ones or no, three and three. So you guys can just long press on these here and add these to your photos, just like I am right now, if you would like to use these ones. Now what we're gonna wanna do is go over to our photos and head over to our photos. And all you wanna do is find all the photos you want for light and all the photos you want for dark. So my three and three are here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on select and select all the ones I'm gonna use for light. Then I'm gonna click on the share option in the bottom corner, scroll down to add to album. And then I'm gonna click on new album and just name it light and save it. Once that is done there, we can do the same thing for dark. So grab all your dark photos, click on share, scroll down, add album, new album, and then name this one dark. And then we can save that as well. Once we've done that, we can exit out of here and I'll have another link in the description for you guys to go onto. And it's just for this right here to add the shortcut. It's called dark and light. So all you're gonna do is click on get shortcut and it'll add it into your shortcuts folder. We just wanna scroll down on here all the way to the bottom and click on add untrusted shortcut. Once we've done that, we can go over to my shortcuts and we will see dark and light right here. So we wanna click on the three dots and then it'll bring us into this screen right here. Now we wanna go down and make sure we click on allow access for photos, click okay. And then it's gonna say album is light. You wanna click on the light portion of that and you wanna make sure that the photo album is on the correct one, so it is for us. And we will continue to scroll down here and we'll see the dark mode. Just make sure the album is on dark as well, which it is right here for us again. We can then continue to scroll down and you guys can look through all the code. And once you have everything done, which we have, we can then go down to the bottom and click on share, scroll down and we wanna click on add to home screen. And then here, we, if we want to, we could customize the photo here. If you don't want this being on your home screen, you could then go into here, click on choose photo, click on one that you would like. So I can just use this for example, click on choose, and then you can rename this if you'd like to as well. I'm just gonna leave this how it is. Uh, then you can just click on add. And what this will do is it will then give you a little application on your home screen right here. So uh, to use this, all we're gonna do is just click on it. And then you will see it will change to a light wallpaper. It also changes your phone into light mode. So as you guys see here, now my background and widgets are white. So if I go back here and click it again, it will change the wallpaper to a dark wallpaper. And it will also change me back into dark mode, which is really, really cool. Anyhow, I really hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, if this video did help you out, I'd appreciate it if you guys would leave a like on the video so we can share this with more people and more people will be able to take advantage of this. And also subscribe if you really liked it and would look forward to more videos. Thanks for watching.